Gabriel Santiago. I'm from Brazil. From the northeast of Brazil. Ilhéus. Patrice Blanchard. I am the bass player in Gabriel Santiago's project. My name is Wayne Salzman. I play drums in the group. My name is Peter Stoltzman and I'm the uh, pianist. I have the great honor of being the pianist in the Gabriel Santiago Quintet. So my name is Russell Haight. I play tenor saxophone and a little bit of clarinet and soprano saxophone on this project. Is it all the way through or do you try to do that little dip? I'm going to try to yeah, actually hold it. Try to hold it. The dip's just okay. pulling you out a little bit anyway, so. My name is Kevin Benoit. I'm out here helping produce the uh, Gabriel Santiago Quintet with their uh, recording project at Blue Rock Studios. And and I have uh, the good fortune of uh, being involved in this project with Gabriel. My name is Keith Gary. Uh, I get to say I'm the chief engineer of Blue Rock Studios. I'm Billy Crockett, owner of Blue Rock Artist Ranch and Studio, and it's a particular delight to welcome Gabriel Santiago to Blue Rock. Playing in this band has been a fantastic experience for me. I've learned so much from Gabriel and from everybody in the band. The music is beautiful and majestic and energetic and uh, sometimes wild, you know, but uh, and I, I would describe Gabriel in the same way. Learning the Brazilian style from Gabriel uh, in depth has been uh, really a challenge that uh, you know has been fun to tackle, uh, and uh, at the same time, uh, playing his music at the same time is very difficult. It's also very easy because it's just so much heart in it. It's it's written in a way that it, the music is supposed to go where it goes. So. Uh, I love Gabriel so much and, and uh, I love his music. It's been a great project. I mean, his compositions are beautiful and these guys are all really beautiful players. Uh, the best I've ever worked with. So it's a real pleasure. Um, and on top of it, we're here at these amazing facilities uh, with incredible technology and just great people making it all come together. So I'm really having a great time and looking forward to hearing the results.
If I get this right, he is the current recipient of the ASCAP Young Jazz Composers Award for this year, this year being 2010. And I don't know if that was from a submission in 2009, but they, they awarded it in 2010. Uh, he's from Brazil and obviously has very strong Brazilian influences, as you can hear in the music. And uh, it's just full of uh, energy and uh, excitement. He's very passionate about his music and the musicians that he's working with. Okay. I just, uh, I, this one is not going to be, you know, like, I, part I, of like... I tell you what, what, I, what I'd like to do is get the basics for the other track before we go to lunch oh, okay, okay. and then we'll come back and we'll have the okay, rest okay, of the okay, afternoon okay, for okay, that. Okay, okay, okay. The melodic sensibilities that he's got as a composer, um, we were talking about this earlier, I mean I think it's uh, it's transcendent uh, in some respects. I think people who don't just listen to jazz or uh, uh, you know this is you know, not to generalize jazz, but it's it can be pretty cerebral, and I think there's a lot of people that get turned off because there's so much going on, and it, it takes uh, some patience to dive in and really understand the nuances that are there. Uh, and there's nuances here, there's there's all that delicious nuance here, but at the same time, it's it's got this common thread um, from from piece to piece and melody to melody that you know I think can be infectious and really get in somebody's head, uh, even if if they don't even like the genre. I mean, it's it's just uh, very penetrating music. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Yeah. And it's it's a Pat Metheny model? Yeah. yeah How beautiful. Pat oh, man. It was one of the first ones, actually. <laughs> hearing each other is we can do via headphone system but getting to see each other and even for us to see them too Absolutely. to communicate more easily Absolutely. and effectively uh, this having this camera system and, and the split screen system that allows us to see hey you I know you <laughs> oh Rosso huh nice Keep the live energy. Feel like you're all in the same room, but be able to split them off so you can edit the sounds individually later. Uh, that's that's the trade-off that, that, you know, when you get into the overdubbing situation, you're overdubbing so you have complete isolation, you can edit and manipulate the tracks. Just that you know what's cooking. <laughs> He's a great composer, he's a great guy, and he has an awesome, he put a, a really awesome band together.
go for it and then all your thinking and all your thoughts and in the background you have they act together with your with your spontaneity so it just it's just a vehicle a tool to let you fly more yeah. you know because at some at some points at some times wow I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yeah. and and on these cases I just don't think I just do it because this is the, the background acting yeah. but but it doesn't show up it's just yeah. there yeah. you know what I mean so say that part again about what your is it your father said I'm saying that my father always tell, told me that um, uh, knowledge you know uh, frees the man you know especially from ignorance like in a general term you know a guy that has knowledge that acquires knowledge he's from himself from ignorance he's living ignorance to some other life of thinking because he's thinking he's understanding what, what is the environment he lives on and that kind of stuff and and I always took this this thinking on music too I, I was never afraid of knowledge you know we are so uh, taken with this music and the way it is such a great cultural mix of Brazilian uh, art forms and what's going on here in Central Texas. Something like that. Uh -huh. So the bass will go like... <laughs> you know, nice. so the bass does all that. But they're using the, the, like the traditional guys the place where the old guys in the style they, they use like in C okay because it fits more of the harmony they play pretty much diatonic yeah. harmony right. for the shapes and stuff because they, they have like a six string doing the harmonies mm -hmm. and they do some tries and do the all these lines you know so I use in B because it keeps the relation and just opens up for all the sounds you know can have the same kind of relation, you know what I mean? Like in this music and in some of these players they have not only lots of discipline but they have DNA they are these uh, some of them are the sons of legends and uh, and so what we're here and come down together is uh, is rich in history and also it's very inventive it's right on the cutting edge of, of, uh, of the art form you are you know <laughs> is that cool if I go to your car and get my foot and no yeah 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 am I breathing too loud yeah man
last one while you're right here. Yeah. yeah. It's hot stuff, man. You're quite a singer, Gabriel. Yeah, I'm not, man. Oh, man. Yeah, it really works, man. Yeah. It really works. I, this stuff. I mean, I know it's kind of like you feel like it's a stand-in for these other singers that you had on the other album or whatever, but I mean, it's really nice with your voice. Well, yeah. You just got to figure out how to make it sound beautiful. This this gorgeous live. Yeah, like you're chasing that learning how to sing, yeah. <laughs> My friend? Yeah, my friend. We did it, huh? It's done. It's done. It's done. Fantastic music that's brought us all together. Thank you. 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 Thank you.